And let's go right. We start some stretching while people get while people get logged on as well. We can do some stretching while everybody uh, everybody gets on the video. So let's start rolling our head, pushing your chin over to make sure you get straight in your neck here. I'm just using my awful hair this week. Desperate for a barber. One hand across in front of the other. Pulse chest. Look at that, see how many we've got online this week. Three on already. Swap. One arm behind the head, pull on your elbow. Hold the stretch for roughly 10 to 15 seconds. Swap over. Put arms straight in front of us, push forward from the shoulders, stretch your back out. Roll the hips, front to up both sides. Reach down, <clears throat> first switch four with your fingertips. <clears throat> One, two, three. Now your knuckles. Now your palms. Put one heel up. Hold your ear if you can't balance like I can. Push forward at the hips. Swap over. Make sure you give yourself a shake out every time. <sighs> Struggling to balance, look at one spot, focus on that spot. And one leg over the other. Reach on the back of your leg. Don't back your back leg, that is not front leg. And swap over again. Oh. Point your right foot towards your point towards your right, your left foot pointing straight forward, pushing at your hip. Max go away. The dog got on to join us. Top. So shake out. Oh. 
Oh. All right, we'll start with for a warm up, just jogging on the spot, punching out in front of us, straight, straight punches. So if we're jogging, nice, punching nice and straight out in front of us. I'm going to do some work on reaction time. So when I say one to one, left hand to the floor, two, right hand to the floor, three, we're going to be jumping. Keep jogging in, jogging. Is it one? Two. Three. Two. One. And three. Keep jogging in, make sure your punch is coming out nice and straight. Right in front of your face. Smiley, go away. <laughs> One. Three. Smiley, out. Two. Three, one, one, punch in and pick it up a bit. One, two, one. And three. Right, this should be everybody nice and warmed up. No, I am. <coughs> right, so let's do some drills to start with on counter punching. There's some little combinations. If you're against a fighter who's constantly doing something, it's which are pretty regular. Um, counter punches you can throw to come back against whatever punches you find the regularly throwing. So when you find someone you should always be looking for patterns of what they're doing, <laughs> trying to find a routine which to keep doing. For example, if somebody always comes forward with a jab, somebody always comes forward with a backhand, somebody always comes forward with a double jab backhand. They're the three main common ones that you're going to find. Uh, so to start with, the double jab backhand is very regularly um it's one of the hardest if you don't if you don't know how to defend against it's, it's hard to uh, get out of the way of so if somebody's coming towards you normally somebody comes with a double jab back and they're going to get a one and a backhand so when when they come forward with one two you want to take one step back slip and come over with your right hand sorry i told you that wrong you want to come take one step back which will get you out of the way of the double jab. So if they've come forward, double jab, you've moved back one step. As they come forward with the backhand, you'll slip down the right to your right, your left, put all your weight over your left foot, bend your left knee to generate the power, and then pivot with your left hook. And sure you pivot your foot in as well, that's where your power's gonna come from. So you come forward, take a step back, slip, bang. Okay, so again, they've come forward with your double jab, you ready? You know for a fact they're going to come for it because they keep coming with it every time. Nice bit of movement. As soon as they come forward, bang, bang, bang. And you can either go to a body or the head with that. Either all works exactly, exactly the same and you're still going to get the same effect. The only thing I will say is the head will sometimes, if somebody throws it back on properly, they should still be able to cover the sh uh, jaw up with the shoulder. But the body will be wide open there. Um, now, if you get somebody who keeps putting a jab on the end of your nose, so every single time, uh, uh, <coughs> constantly you just keep getting jabbed on the end of the nose, constantly, just bang, bang, bang. You want to get ready, you can keep, keep trying to keep your distance, and when you know, see them coming forward, you know they're going to come with that jab, but I keep continuously pinging it at you. So what you want to do, when they throw that jab, you want to slip the jab so it goes over your shoulder. But at the same time, you want to counter with your jab on the uh, with your yeah with your jab while they're there over up here. 
So you counter there, and then you want to come over the top with the right with a step. So shift straight on. The jab comes towards me. I slip while throwing my jab. I take a step to the right, and I come over the top with my right hand. So if it's quicker, slip, bang. Uh, the, the bunch you're aiming to land mainly is your right hand. Your jab's going to dazzle them. If they come in and they step onto your jab when you've moved out of the way and that lands right away from the jaw, that's still going to make them think what's, what's going on. And you can come over with the right hand, hopefully, put them down. Uh, what else have we got on here? And then you're going to get situations where, like me, I, 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 I fight on the back foot. I fight a, a counter punch again, that's how I, that's how I, that's how I box. Uh, occasionally, you're going to find where you come against somebody who's exactly the same. Uh, and if you are, you, you could end up with a very boring match because you both stood there waiting for each other to make the first move. <clears throat> so, to get them to come towards you, you need to throw a feint. So, if you throw a feint, you're really committed to it, you need to put your weight onto it. <laughs> Better late than never, Jake. <laughs> so, you throw your, throw, throw your jab. And just make the leg go through it, then take a step straight back. So you throw your thing, take a step back, throw your thing jab, take a step back. They're going to come towards you because they're going to come for their counter punch. You step back, and then you can counter their counter as, as it was. Uh, right, we'll move on to exercises. They're all things that everybody should be able to just practice at home. So you can go over them over and over. That's what I do. And when I'm shadow boxing, there's no point in just when you're shadow boxing, you want, you want a bit of a rhythm to what you're doing. Don't just continuously throw punches which aren't linked to anything. Make sure you're always having something to link it to. So it's a combination or you're thinking to yourself, when this happens, I could do this. Don't just aimlessly punch uh, and not have any sort of rhythm to it. <laughs> right. So the exercise is I'm going to do five two minute rounds this week to make a fight. Uh, we do 30 seconds. 30 seconds of an exercise, then straight into another 30, straight into another 30, straight into another 30. Then you get 30 seconds rest. And we're going to do that for five rounds. Again, if you can do this, then you should easily be able to do three rounds in the fights like most of us do. So some of us do more than three. So I'm going to get my timer out. <clears throat> we'll start with press ups. I don't know if you can see me here, can you? And go! Key is not to rush into it and knock yourself out. Just right at the start, just take it easy. Don't go pushing 50 press ups out in 30 seconds, otherwise, you're not going to get all the way through. Doing sit ups now. Well, one, two when you come up if you want. <coughs> Ten seconds. And so leg raises. Just have your hands around your head. You shouldn't be putting them under your bum like that because that's cheating. It makes it twice as easy. Ten seconds left. <coughs> Doing squats. Hands out in front of you if you want. I like to do it with my hands out in front of me. So a lot of people have logged off since I said to do an exercise. Rest. Get 
drink if you've got one. <laughs> I'm going to heel touches in three seconds and go. Fifteen seconds left. Keep pushing. And straight into alternate alternate squats, mountain climbers, or whatever you call them. Five seconds left. It's a plank. Whew. I don't think you can see me, can you? Back into sit ups. Ten seconds. And rest. 30 seconds rest. Ten seconds left. Got my big lot now. And so star jumps. Ten seconds left. Time's gone off. Straight to the side plank. And straight to the other side. In a minute. Phone's gone off again. Switch. So explosive squats, squat down, up, <clears throat> ten, ten around three, I think. I'm rest. Do -do -do. <laughs> Ooh. 
You're about to press ups. Ten seconds. Life raises. So it's been a while since I've done this. Wish the gym to be open again. Ten seconds left. Hail to the cheese. Last 10 seconds, then we're done. And finish. All right, we can finish with a stretch. We'll stretch off, same as we did for the warm up. Bit of a head. Well, I've got the other. <clears throat> Swap. One arm behind your head. Put it on your elbow. Swap. <laughs> Cheers, Adam. And rotate your hips. Make sure you push your hips fully forward, stretch your abs out, because we're just doing abs. Off some abs. And we're just having your fingers again to the floor. Now your uh, knuckles. Make sure we're keeping the legs straight and we're not bending the knees because it's not doing anything. Palms to the hands. Oh. One leg over the other. Uh, pull the heels up first. Switch. One leg over the other. Reach on the back of your leg. And switch. Uh, right 
Right toe pointing to the right, left toe pointing foot, toe pointing forward, push your hip. Make sure your quads relax, otherwise it takes a strain off your groin. Stretch off your groin, should I say. Swap. And fall on over. Right, I shake out. That's what we'll do. If not watch the video, you watch it later. That's what I am. Can we all be taking a picture of ourselves training, taking a video, posting it, making sure that we're still training? So come when we come back to fighting, we're not all going to be absolutely knackered. Uh, cheers, guys. Thank you for watching.